Bay, is it on? Hello, hello, is anybody there? Press that button. Press that button. <gasps> there we are. There we are. Oh, hi, everybody. Look at all the people out there. I know. Isn't it wonderful to uh, be able to be celebrating Pride with all of our friends at the Whitchurch Stouffville Public Library? Uh, I wish we could be there to visit you. We do. Oh, we love libraries so mm -hmm. much. One of the things that we've missed most about the pandemic and having to stay separate is missing out our library times. Yeah. There's such a great place for community to come together yeah. and to learn things and meet new friends and have access to all these amazing books. It's oh. so true, but because of the fact that we are living collectively through a pandemic, this is the safest way for us still to be connected and still create community. You know, the, when uh, I watched, I learned this from my friend Trevor, who's six uh, in his classroom, his virtual classroom, they do this to show that they're connected. Oh. So maybe if the teacher's saying or another student says something, then they'll, go, they'll do this yes. to show that they're connected. They're so connected. We feel very connected to you. We do. And we are Fame Fluffy Storytime. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we get so excited about talking sometimes we forget to mention that part. I know. Maybe you should say who you are. I think that's a good starting point. My name is Facelift, the Lady Bear Extraordinaire. Hi, Faye. Hi, and friend, why don't you introduce yourself? Thanks. My name is Fluffy Souffle. You can just call me Fluffy. Hi, Fluffy. Hi, friends. And we're going to read some of our favorite stories because this month is June and it's Bra my birthday. Oh. Your birthday! And pride. Yeah. <laughs> but mostly and, people celebrate pride. Yes. And you. And on top of it, we're also celebrating how many years? Five, Five years of doing story times as Faye and Fluffy. Together. So we're super, super excited and honored to be here with you through our friends at the Whitchurch Stouffville Public Library. So at the beginning of every Faye and Fluffy story time, we always begin with a song and we do love audience participation. So if you know any of the words to the songs or any movements you feel like getting up and dancing, please Ooh. join us and be proud of your big voices. Are you ready? One, two, we're out together again, we're here, we're here. We're out together again, we're here, we're here. And who knows when we'll be all together again. Oh. Da, 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 da. You like that? I'm pretending oh, I'm This here. is the point where I will usually say, well, you can find us in Toronto at all these other places like the museum or the art gallery or Harborfront Center. But we can't say that right now because we're doing our part by staying distance. We are in a pod and so we have been vaccinated. We wear masks when we're out and it's all part of keeping our community safe. So the best way for us to be connected is virtually. And so we're so glad that we can be virtually here with you at Whitchurch Stouffville Public Library. And hopefully maybe next year, we'll get to come in person and hang out with you all. We're all together again. We're here. We're here. I think we should get right into a book. Now, with it being Pride Month, you probably started noticing a lot of what we call pride flags flying around, which are essentially the colors of the rainbow. But did you know that each of those colors represent a deeper meaning? We're mm -hmm. going to share this book with you today, which helps you gain some more knowledge about what each color in the pride flag represents. And so both rainbows and Pride Month are significant to the LGBTQ plus community. And that means our friends that are lesbian, gay, transgender, bi, and queer, and questioning, and so many other things like two-spirit, which are really important. But as we know, rainbows are also for everybody. So when you see the rainbows, maybe they'll bring a little bit of joy into your heart, but for some of us, it especially means that those are inclusive and welcoming spaces to members of our community. And when they first designed this flag, they made a point that each color would mean something. And you might often see just the red to purple because until very recently, that's all we used. But recently as a community, we decided that we needed to add black and brown 
and we're going to learn about why that is. In our first book, Our Rainbow, because it's for everybody. Absolutely. Hi friends, black, brown, red, yellow, oh whoops, orange, yellow. Black, brown, red, yellow. I know, I forgot orange, <laughs> I'm wearing orange hair today. <laughs> Let me try that again. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. These are the colors of the pride rainbow flag. Do you know what each one stands for? A good hint is if a book asks a question at the beginning, I think that we're going to find out what the answer is. Oh, that's why reading is fun. The mental. Black and brown are for diversity and inclusivity. Diversity and inclusivity are what gives us our strength and beauty. So as a community, we kind of realized that the people that started the very first uprising against inequality and the fight that started Pride was black and brown women of color and trans women specifically. And so we especially want to recognize the black, brown, indigenous members of our community and let them know that we have a lot of respect, admiration for their bravery and for their all of the work that they do all year round. Yeah. And if it wasn't for them, much of what we have gained as a community, um, we may not have gained without their bravery. So mm -hmm. it's important to acknowledge that within our shared history. Red is for life. Let's celebrate ourselves and the people around us every day. Orange is for healing. Sometimes we might hurt someone's feelings. When we do this, when this happens, we should say sorry and do something nice for them. I wonder if anybody, when they first heard healing, they thought maybe only physically healing, like yeah. healing from a cut or an injury or a bruise, but our hearts and our emotions also need healing, especially when we've been hurt. Yes. Maybe by somebody saying something mean. And being sorry and saying you're sorry is very important, but the actual action of your apology is more powerful. And you show that through changing the way that you interact with someone, especially if you're feeling frustrated. Mm -hmm. Yellow is for sunlight. Don't hide in the shadows, friends. Come out and play in the warmth and the light of the sun. Mm. Love sunlight. Mm -hmm. I also love this next one. Yes. Green is for nature. Our green world is full of beauty. Its plants, trees, and animals inspire us. I love the sound of birds. I love being able to be in nature. And one of the things that's so great about Witcher Soville is that you are surrounded with nature and the beauty of nature. Mm -hmm. I hope you're inspired by it every day. Blue. Blue is for harmony. Let's try to do our very best to get along with others, even if they are different than us. And may I just add to that, thank goodness we are all different and unique and special people. Yes. Because we all bring our own uniqueness to the table and we all benefit from that uniqueness. And speaking of that, this next page is a great one. Purple is for spirit. Within each of us is a beautiful and unique spirit. Let's celebrate it together. And so yesterday I did a talk uh, with all ages of students from grade one and kindergarten kids up to grade 12 and adults. And one thing that the person that I was speaking with said, when they started feeling like themselves, they felt the light from within them glowing. And their friends said, you look different, you look happier. And it really made me feel this page in particular of when people recognize you being who you really are and who you feel like inside, it's a shining light that others will be able to see. And it also just makes you feel so good. Yeah, it starts with love. And the love starts with giving that to yourself. Now the next page, our last page, there are no words. So this is, this is an opportunity for our audience to interpret through using the images in the book, what this actually shows. So what do you want to share with what you see? I see families gathering. I see drag performers. I see people celebrating, looking like they're dancing to music. And all this happening together 
of all these different community members being able to celebrate. Be proud of who they are and be safe. And, and for some people, pride is the only time that they're really able to come out and celebrate who they are. And so then they go back to their work or their homes or who knows, and maybe they don't always get as celebrated. So pride is a special, special time for everybody. Absolutely. And it's a time to take that joy and that love, that acceptance, uh, and carry it with you inside, in your heart, every single day. That was our rainbow. Now, right now you're seeing us shaking our hands. If we were gathered together at the library, we would be applauding and clapping. But what this is, this is ASL, American Sign Language, and this represents applause. And we're doing this because we are digital. We are doing this remotely. And we may not be able to hear you applauding at the end of one of the stories. So instead, you can show us by waving your hands this way. That's applause in ASL. We're going to read another book now. This is about a book of action. A book of which action. Which is interesting. I am one, a book <laughs> of action. Well, you know, it's, it's wonderful to be able to say something and mean it. However, a, little, a lot of people might be, you know, sort of caught up in the words and may not necessarily have the actions that support it. So the act of doing something shows that you are committed to the language that you use. Okay. Okay. And we love um, the artist Peter H. Reynolds. He's got a lot of other books himself. And then this one is also written by Susan Verde. I am one. How do I make a difference? It seems like a tall order for one so small. But beautiful things start out with just one. One seed to start a garden. One stroke to start a masterpiece. One note to start a melody. It's really true. Mm -hmm. Every song, every painting, every book starts with just one thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one step to start a journey. One brick to start breaking down walls. Mm. And if those brave people that we were talking about in our rainbow, if they had not just taken that one step to make a difference, that one step to stand up in the face of violence, in the face of, of uh, being told that you are not a citizen, then none of us would have been, in, you know, had any inspiration. But instead, that one person inspired millions of people millions. all over the world. And I can speak one gentle word to start a conversation. And I can use my one soft voice to start a friendship. Some people start a friendship with one loud voice and that's okay too. <laughs> like, hey, hey, wanna play? Yeah, let's go and play. <laughs> Sometimes it's, hi, my name is Fluffy. Um, would you like to play? Yeah, my name is Faye. I'd love to play with you too. I can perform one act of kindness to start a connection. I can share one tender hug to share, to start caring. Do you remember what we do before we have one tender hug? We ask for consent. So I would say, Fluffy, I'd really like to give you a hug. Can I give you a hug? I really like that. And then we would hug. Or sometimes it might be like this. Hey, I'd really like to give you a hug right now. Um, I don't really feel like giving hugs right now. Maybe later. Okay. And sometimes we might offer, hey, can I give you a hug or a high five or a fist bump? And that works too. Mm -hmm. I can light one candle to start leading the way. I love these new cute owls. Mm -hmm. I can make one drop in the water. And one drop will 
start ripples, that become swells, that become waves. Traveling over oceans, across boundaries and borders. Look, look at the beautiful image that we had on the cover of the book. Landing on distant shores to start a chain reaction, inspire a movement, make a change. I am one and I can take action. We are each one and we can take action. Do you notice something about the way that this page is written, Richard? Well, it starts off, I am one, mm -hmm. and this whole time we've been saying I, 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 but now it switches to we are one. Well, the hope is within the message in the story is, is that no matter how big or small you are, if you have a desire to start a movement, it's just one action from one person. And that one act inspires others. And as it continues to grow, that messaging is shared. So we transition from just one to we. And now one by one, we can make a difference. Because one is all it takes to start something beautiful. We've got our original kid over here with their stick and they've got their new pal and they've got all their bricks. But instead of building a wall, they've built a pathway that leads through this beautiful garden. And all kinds of art is happening. Painting. This is kind of like sculpting mm -hmm. where, like, like when they make a design out of, out of the stones. And of course a musician back there. And that is the end. I am one. I am one. So remember, no matter how little you are, how young you are, how old you are, you can start with just one person. And that will carry out. And that power will be shared with many. It's amazing. So do it. Do it? Yeah. Oh, speaking of doing, I feel like we should do something with our hands. Are now. your hands feeling a little crampy from holding the books? I'm doing a lot of work holding you the books. You are doing a lot. Thank so you. So what can me. we what can we do with our hands? Well, we could open and shut them. Okay. Wanna do that? Great. Let's do it together. Yeah, let's do it together. With a song. Oh open, open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give them a little clap, clap, clap. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Put them on your ears. Ears, ears. You are tricky today. Not in your ears. Play. Don't tickle your brain. No, don't. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Put them on your nose, nose, nose. nose. Don't put them up your nose. Just on your nose. <laughs> open and shut them. Open and shut them. Put them on your lap, lap, lap. Are we ready for another story? We are. We are. And this one is about this day in June, which for many places across uh, Canada, uh, pride celebrations happen all throughout the summer, but some mm. of the big ones start off in June. And so this is in honor of a pride celebration and the pride parade. And they look really different. So in some small towns, it might just be a little park um, maybe it's just a picnic or yeah. a barbecue. Uh, maybe it's a parade. Like we've been to some smaller towns like Sudbury and Thunder Bay, and they do parades around the town. Sometimes it'll be performances. So there's lots of different ways that people are celebrating pride. This one is kind of a big city, kind of like Toronto. And you all get to choose how you show and share your pride. This day in June, parade starts soon. Rainbow arches, joyful marches. here and in many other places, the beginning of the parade is for people called dykes on bikes. Mm -hmm. Dykes is another word that some people identify as for lesbians or for women who love women. And here they are, motors roaring, spirits soaring. 
So bicycles, motorcycles, scooters, they all lead the parade. Row, row, row. Voices chanting, doggies panting. <laughs> you're gonna need a lot of water if you're out walking on the Pride Parade mm -hmm. route. Clad in leather, perfect weather. Some people look a little bit warm in their Pride outfits. Mm -hmm. Artist painting, sisters sainting. This is a group called the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. And they do a lot of fundraising for different yeah. charities and organizations within the LGBTQ plus community. Ooh, I love this page. Mm -hmm. Banners swaying, children playing. Love, not hate, is what this sign up here says. Love, love, love. Lovey, love. Dancers jumping, music pumping. We love dancing. Sidewalk shaking. Uh oh. Tummy's aching. Uh oh. Maybe too many waffle cones mixed with hot dogs and maybe thrown in there a taco or a pizza. There's our little kiddo. Maybe had too many treats. Yeah. Painted ladies, oh no, crying babies. It's a long day for some babies. It is a long day. <laughs> it's a long day for grown-ups too. <laughs> Fancy dresses, flowing tresses. What are tresses? Tresses is another word for hair. Mm. Fancy dresses and flowing hair. Or wigs. Mm -hmm. Did you know that this is not my real hair. But it is your hair. It's my hair. But yes. my body didn't grow it. That's it's right. a wig. It's like putting a hat on your head. Loving kisses. So delicious. Some people choose to get married on Pride. This makes it extra special for them. Mm -hmm. All invited. All excited. This day in June, we are all united. Because people in the LGBTQ community can be anything, any kind of job. And they can live anywhere. And so it is a kind of time when like the banker comes together with the bartender, comes together with the dog walker, and just anybody can come together because everybody's invited to and be a welcome. part of Pride. Be and oh i just love sharing stories with you so much me too how does it make you feel hmm i'm glad you asked me it makes me feel happy and i know it if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it stomp your feet boom, boom. if you're happy and you know it stomp your feet boom, boom. if you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you're happy and you know it stomp your feet boom boom if you're beautiful and you know it shout hooray hooray if you're beautiful and you know it shout hooray Alright, if you're beautiful and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're beautiful and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! I think because it's pride, yeah. I think we should combine all those things. Okay. And we should say, if you're proud and you know it, do all three. Shall we try? Perfect. Shall we try? Can you help us out there? We would love it very much. Okay. One, two, three. If you're proud and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're proud and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're proud and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're proud and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray.
feeling extra proud. You today. are extra, extra proud. Yay. And you know what? Hmm? I like that you can be who you are. So do I. And I like that you can be who you are. And guess what? We both like that all of you can be who you are. And this book is by Todd Carr, one of our favorite authors. And there's lots of people who love this book. Todd has so many different books. Yeah. About families and emotions and going to school and making mistakes. Being brave, worrying, all of those things. And Todd wrote this one in particular because when he was growing up, he didn't feel like he fit in. And I feel like a lot of people feel that way. But then once he just kind of decided that he wasn't going to try and fit in and he was just going to be himself, then it kind of made things a lot easier and it made him a lot happier. So you should be who you are. Absolutely, 100%. Who else are you going to be? Uh, hello. I can't be Faye. Mm-mm, and I can't be Fluffy. And Except I, maybe for Halloween. We, yeah, well, there's we that. We should do that for Halloween. We should dress up as the other. Okay. <laughs> Check. We got our outfit planned for Halloween. Check our Instagram in October. Yes. Be old, be young, be a different color. Wear everything you need to be you. Sometimes we share clothes. Like, I get a lot of hand-me-down clothes from my brother when I was younger or from other cousins. And that's okay, too. But you can still find ways to mix and match and kind of make yourself feel like Absolutely. Speak your language. Hola. Hello. Bonjour. Je t'aime. Meow. Learn in your own way, because we all learn differently. It's true. We are all different in the way that we learn. Some people learn best by hearing things. Watching. Watching things. Doing reading things, things, things. Reading things. So many different ways. Yeah. Be proud of where you're from. Be your own family. Maybe you're from Witcher Stoko, and maybe you traveled there from somewhere else. Maybe your parents traveled there. Celebrate that. Just be who you are. Oh, be silly. I came this close to wearing underpants on my head today. Thank goodness I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> and instead I wore my clown hair. <laughs> be brave. That shark is looking pretty brave talking to that little tiny fish. I think that the shark looked a little bit nervous to be talking to that fish. But look at the fish have a smile to say, hey, big friend, don't be scared. Don't be worried about me and my littleness. Dance, play, discover, learn, read. Can you show us your dance moves again? Do the hustle. <laughs> Share your feelings, all your feelings. Share your feelings. Happy, mad, sad, silly, scared, and proud. And you know what? If you gotta cry and let that sadness or that frustration out, everybody, let it out. Don't hold on to it. Oh, don't it's hold gonna on drag to it. you down. And don't let anybody ever tell you that you shouldn't cry because what? Being true to your emotions is so vitally important for your heart and for your mind and spirit. Mm -hmm. Just be who you are. I love the messages in this book. Try new things. Eat tacos. Yes. Pizza. Yes. Noodles. Yes. Noodle pizza? Noodle tacos? Noodles on pizza folded up like a taco. I think you and I need to start a food truck. Day and Fluffy eats everything. Be confident and stand up for yourself. No. no. And you know what? It can be really hard and scary sometimes, Fluffy, to do that by yourself. Yeah. That's why it's always so important that if you have somebody that you love and care and trust and they feel the same way about you, ask for their support to help you stand up yeah. and say, no, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Right? And so somebody else can say, no. Don't say that to my friend. Thank you, friend. You're welcome. Be energetic. Woohoo! Be peaceful. 
Um, ask me if I want to go somewhere after. Um, do you want to go somewhere after? I'm going to stay right here. Wow. Yoga joke for you. Oh my goodness. Namaste. They're here all week. Be the best that you can be. And by best means do the things that make you happy and fill you up with joy. Just be who you are. It doesn't matter what color you are, where you're from, or who's in your family. Everyone needs to be loved. Always love yourself and be who you are. The end. Love Todd. Love Fluffy. And love Faye. I love those books so Me much. Too. Oh. Me too. So are you ready to finish off with a more serious book? Oh yes. Yeah. So we're gonna get very serious right now. I'm gonna adjust adjust my hair hat. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> And uh, we want you to show us all your very serious face right now. Ready? Mm -hmm. On a count of three. Mm -hmm. Now it's a book about animals. Mm -hmm. Two animals in particular. An elephant and, and a, a piggy. piggy. So serious. So serious. It's called, I am invited to a party. Mm -hmm. I am invited to a party. Parties are serious. I will play the role of Piggy. I will be the elephant. <clears throat> Gerald! Look, look! I'm invited to a party. You look kind of excited and happy. I don't know if this book is as serious as we thought it was. Maybe the serious part's coming. Maybe. Because parties are not fun. No, they're, they're very serious. Especially if there's cake and ice cream. And balloons and... And um, friends. And gifts. And, and pizza. Family. And games. You might be wrong about this book. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe it's actually Let's not see. so serious. Cool. It is cool. Mm-hmm. Will you go with me? Believe it or not, I have never been to a party. Huh? I I will go with you. I I know parties. Party! 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 Party, 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 wait, woo, what if it's a fancy party, we must be ready, really, uh, uh-huh, I like how it feels very very fancy in that. Oh, picture. Right, yes, rather. I say tomato instead of tomato. That's oh, how fancy I am. Tomato. Tomato. I know parties. She knows parties. Yes, she does. Zip that. That. Zip. Is this fancy? Very fancy. You even like the way I said fancy? Well, I see this. It's written very fancy. You so gotta say it. That fancy. was good. Yeah. Party! 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 Wait! What? What if it's a pool party? Fancy pool party? We must be ready! Bonk. <laughs> Sometimes my voice is so big, you might fall over. <laughs> I know parties. She knows parties. Yeah. Zip, zap. Zap, 
sip. Okay, okay. Yeah. How is this? We will make a splash. Some people say splash. I say splash. You don't say splash. Okay, sometimes, but I know we're reading this. <laughs> party! 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 Party, party! Wait, wait! Oh, I, 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 what if it's a costume party? A fancy pool costume party. We must be ready. Woo. Zip. She had better know parties. Zap. Zip. Zap. Oh. Now, can we go to the party? We, yes. Now we are ready. Well, that is a surprise. You do know party. Party! 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 Yeah, let's go to the party. Party! Let's party. <laughs> the end. And, and if you look closely, look who snuck into the book. That pigeon obviously wants an invitation to a party. Why did we choose that after all? Because pride is a party. That's right. It's a celebration, right? And the one thing that we all experience in our lives, regardless of what our background is, regardless of where we grew up, regardless of who is in our family, chosen family, birthdays, uh, celebrations throughout the year, is that we love to come together. We love to eat delicious things. <laughs> we love to celebrate and have fun and dance. Yeah. And it's just really, really wonderful. I mean, a pride party can be you and your best friend hanging out in your backyard, mm -hmm. just doing things that you enjoy. Like running through the sprinkler. Some people, their pride, their ideal pride party is sitting under a tree, reading a nice book. Yeah. And that, and celebrating their LGBTQ community and just kind of being by themselves. Yeah. So there's lots of different ways to celebrate. Yeah. And we hope that you've enjoyed celebrating pride with Fluffy. And Faye of Faye and Fluffy Storytime. Happy pride with, with church. Stouville, thank you for having us join you today. We wish you a wonderful pride, a wonderful summer as school is ending, right? And always remember, be proud of who you are. Be yourself every day. Make sure your actions match your words. And here's an action that is going to use my words too. I'm going to say thank you. So thank you to the library staff for inviting us. Thank you to the community members of Richard Stofeld who have invited us into your community and been a part of our pride celebration. You can find out more on our Instagram, at Faye and Fluffy. We share books and photos and things that we like, and you're welcome to shoot us messages and share things that you like too, like images of you watching story time or some of your favorite books or some art you've made. Yeah. So stay connected and one day we'll be together in Absolutely. person again. So. Have a great summer. Happy Pride, everybody. Happy Pride, everybody.